Hello everyone, welcome to my yet another video. In this video, we will discuss about Dot Serve, a very performant and flexible tool for serving a PyTorch based model in production ready environment. Okay. Now, specifically in this video, what are the topics we are, we are going to cover is basically on a high level, we will discuss what is basically this Dot Serve is, how it is much more flexible and important than any building an inference API for your machine learning model, such as using maybe Django, Flax, uh, or Fast API, etc. What are the advantages? How you can basically use and deploy almost any kind of uh, PyTorch based deep learning models, deep neural nets very easily without very lesser effort, right? And I will show the examples on top of this. Uh, variational recurrent auto encoder model uh, if you don't have not watched that video you can basically go to uh, find that video and basically watch it this is basically a deep learning neural network for specifically analyzing and uh, applying the unsupervised technique on a time series or a temporal data okay now uh, coming back to the torch serve Torch serve is very performant and flexible and very easy to use tool for basically serving any pytorch based model in uh, very few uh, within few uh, few minutes i would say within 30 minutes or something like that it ca it is very like it it can be used to deploy models to variety of environments such as maybe di uh, like dedicated on premises cloud or basically the advantage is you can directly deploy these models using torch on a edge services right now uh, the performance uh, and the qualities like performance flexibility ease of use and the features which torch basically gives you uh, out of the box is basically and or to maintain and you can basically easily can deploy your torch serve api inference api with model store uh, for on any cloud services using kubernetes or any edge services edge functions or dedicated on a gpu cluster or gpu computer computer engines that way right now uh, if you just look at the screen building the inference uh, api endpoint using torch serve basically it creates two three uh, couple of types of inference api one is for workflow management for model management stores and another is basically pretty and endpoints and the explanation endpoints as well. Now, one uh, 8081 on which the model management API will run and the inference API will run for each of your model store that is present in your uh, model store directory that way and your features but basically weakness or the uh, drawback is that you can only deploy pytorch based models only can be set up and it uh, like can be complex to set up other than the pytorch based models okay you can export to onyx uh, o in x uh, model format which is a another way to do it for flags it is basically easy to learn but can be used for serve any type of model okay but the main weakness or the drawback is that the machine learning services inference apis are basically compute intensive things so not as performant but torch up out of the box provides first api again it is a very easy to use asynchronous programming based open api documentation everything you can you will get out of the box but not as well known as flags or tots up stop this what it does it basically stops any pre-running uh, existing running services tots up services this is poetry for black and uh, like poetry for your uh, python package management and black is the uh, formatting api formatting library i am using okay now this is the main part how you can basically uh, create any kinds of any kind of uh, pytorch based checkpoints or the pth file the pytorch based models into a mar uh, model archiver format right mar uh, from ckpt uh, checkpoint or any pth or bean file into you have to convert to uh, torch model archiver format and this is the typical cli you will uh, get and what are the basically the library you need to install these are the three libraries you need to install before and pip install you can run up uh, torch serve pip install torch model archiver pip install torch workflow archiver so these are the three main core api dependencies python api dependencies you have to install before uh, basically creating the torch um, inference API. Now, how you uh, you will create it? Now, first, if you look at the command poetry, run model archival archiver model name you have to give. This is uh, the model name I have used for this. The version I have mentioning this is a version one model file where I am taking it. I am taking it for the recurrence auto decoder dot model dot py file. This is the model implementation which you have. This is the PyTorch based model, so you already must be having a model definition file, right? Where you have created all your model dependencies and everything, right? Way. Okay, and uh, another thing is that the serialized uh, file, serialized file is nothing but your model export, export model or the generated uh, model from the PyTorch training after the training epoch, you created the save the waste model and this is the handler. Now this is a custom handler in PyTorch. Uh, so this is the rbae in point.py file. What it, it contains is basically just a single class. Now here is a caveat here. Now in this particular file, which is basically used by a custom handler, you can only have one single export class. So for that reason, what I have done is basically I created a model handler cut, uh, handler um, uh, base like extending the model base handler and created a model handler and all of this time series data set the model definition i have created in the nested class format in python and typically the, your model handler code starts from here now this is a typical boilerplate for any uh, like writing a base handler or a custom handler for uh, pytorch based inference api uh, you can find it on the uh, like pytorch uh, documentation link or i will attach it in the description 
Now this is the typical first entry point where initialize you have to basically initialize a, an API, uh, your model service and this is a singleton initialization because from the definition you can get how the model has been initialized it is a singleton uh, initialization on the based on the multiple of worker nodes so I have basically uh, like initialized my model from the checkpoint load from the checkpoint I just uh, model dot eval for evaluation or freeze you can also do it and I just inserted the trainer uh, for as it is a lightning based model I am using the trainer directly not via the dot forward function and this is the pre-process API endpoint this is also comes as a base handler you just extend it and override these methods inference is another one uh, API uh, like method which you have need to override as per your use case but currently i'm just uh, generating on a sample random dummy data that way i'm just generating and sending the model output and basically this is the main api interacted rest api endpoint handler function where all the invocation all the http based RP, rpc based all the invocations particularly your endpoint will comes to uh, comes to this endpoint comes to this method directly and in this method you will have three stages one do the pre-processing do let me just copy everything go to the terminal and let's paste it now see i have just pasted my commands and i just hit my uh, enter now directly within few minutes if your configuration and everything will okay however you will find all these custom handler uh, definition file and the toss of uh, toss of command line excel like example command lines in the github repo of my repository i will attach that in the description as well and your model has been started initially and uh, just for the confirmation you can see the logs directory and here all the logs will be getting stored and this is how you can basically get to know your model is up and running or not because when you comes back how like see the workers nodes are started and worker model is also loaded so from there you can confirm key uh, from the cli or the logs you can identify whether your model has been started like your inferences and there API is also a dedicated health api endpoint just to check your whether your uh, model is up and running or not okay now these are the like total minimum workers i am having 88 workers this is the python runtime loaded startup whether all the workers because i have mentioned i have eight core machine octa core machine all these models are running on different port 9901 all of those and basically touch is doing the inference and load balancing between all those things okay now this is the overall gently information you can get how your model is performing what is the memory uses and everything in one place now now uh, let's see how you can basically hit the model in the inference okay now this is your inference api 880 which is deployed you can find it from here also 880 and it comes to here and uh, basically hit it and right now i'm just sending hitting the dummy data and all of this is mentioned now data is you can find in the model definition file in the handler definition file you can either send and data or a json payload and i will give you the after inferencing just to be double sure you can see the testing data loader and everything has started and it has done the inference on top of it and maybe if you want to see the curl request i just copy this endpoint open my terminal and i am hitting it now after hitting it now what it happens it starts the inference okay it started the inference and let's see the see you also get the response from there so this is the way this is the beauty of your application uh, this is the beauty of the tots of how can you can easily deploy your inference production ready api endpoints with high scalability high performance models very easily this is the uh, this is the way how we can uh, use it and all the model logs and everything will be stored under here now the access underscore logs will tell you whoever has hit whoever has requested how in which endpoint api endpoint you can also customize the logger logging maybe if you want to basically capture the remote ips and, uh, what is the client ips and all you can do it and this is the model underscore log which has the all model related login of your inference api that way it will be stored and everything will be logged for your analysis purpose for your next uh, dependent absence so this is it and i hope you have enjoyed the video and all the video in the readme file of this repository you can find all the definition how and how you can use pytorch uh, pytorch as an inference okay for almost any kind of pytorch model for the deployment